Hey, good evening, family. Pastor Jamal here, Rising Ground. Um, I'm going to jump right in, man. Uh, the perfect storm, the perfect storm. What is a perfect storm? A perfect storm is an orchestration of events that um, is designed to pull the best out of you. Somebody could say, well, well, you know, first off, a storm of any kind, you know, how can it be perfect? Because it seems just to wreak havoc, you know what I mean? We got bad weather, you know, we got this tearing up homes, it's uh, tearing up neighborhoods, it's tearing up businesses, you know, those kind of things. But nonetheless, the perfect storm is designed to pull out of you the best of you, right? This is God's thing. God is a creator. He's a creator. He creates, he creates, he creates perfection, perfection. Our body was created and the things that our body can do is miraculous. You know, uh, the flesh or man, man stops us from experiencing really what, or I should say fear. Fear stops us from experiencing what the body was designed to do because it's perfect. Let's move on. The perfect storm. I was thinking about a specific thing. I was thinking about time. And, you know, we say that God is outside of time. Um, and I'm going to say it this way. God is time. God is time like God is love. The, the power of God. There is no other power outside of God. So let me say that again. There is no other power outside of God. Everything that you see, that you feel, that you experience, that you know about is housed inside of God. It's inside the power of God. That's just the awesomeness of God. So I was thinking specifically again about this time and I was like, you, you, you know that old statement, um, he ain't there when you want him, but he's, he's right on time. I think I'm jumbling it up a little bit, but God is always on time. He may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. There, there, there it is. There it is. So I was, I was thinking about time, man. And I was like, why is it that if you are surrendered and yielded to God, you, you, you got to be there first. And, you know, you're in desperate need of, of things or whatever, or you, you know, you, uh, you got to keep going and there's things that has to happen. God winds up showing up and he winds up getting you out of the specific situation or, uh, it, the, the, the situation is perfect. It becomes perfect. You, you realize that, no, you're not late or you will, you, you realize that, um, yeah, you were late. But something happened and then they decided to say, well, um, I'll just put it on paper like this. You're not late or however, it, however it goes. So God shows up. And again, if you're surrendered and yielded to God, what was always supposed to happen, what you've prayed for, what you've been asking God for, um, it winds up happening. You know, even when you don't see it and even when you don't know about it. So I was thinking about it and I was like, well, um, well, God, I said, what's really going on then? What's really happening is, it, it, you know, our mind and our flesh, it, it steers us to the idea that something is wrong. How else can God really craft you into what he made you? It has to, you have to be put in situations that, um, you know, are less than favorable in your own flesh, right? And we, we, we understand that. But I just, I'm, I'm coming on here because I'm trying to tell you something. The Spirit is trying to say something. God is time, like God is love. So there's never really anything wrong. All we have to do is wait it out, just ride the wave. Just over the horizon, there's the sun shining. There's, there's clear water. There's calm water. But God puts you in this bubble of a storm again so he can mold you and make you into this thing, right? And the storm, the storm itself is timed and it's measured. It's timed and it's measured. So that means it's purposed. And I know, you know, that sometimes these things can sound so cliche, 
but there's 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 this nugget of a, of a truth is inside of these words that you got to dig out you got to allow the spirit to, to to dig out of you and there's something profound on the other side so because god is the only power there is because god is time then He's this master plan is already perfect. It's already finished. It's already done. We just have to ride it out in faith. Come out on the other side and, and just see that it was always perfect. Because see, that's the truth. When you come out on the other side, what you witness is an already perfect or crafted perfection. Even before you were on the other side, even when you were in the thick of it, it still was perfect. When you come out on the other side, you witness what was already there, what's always been there. Perfection, perfectness. God is perfect and we have to start to agree and understand that truth because I think it'll save us a lot of heartache. There's something said when you can sit in a truth and you really, you really, really know a truth. Even when you know things are kind of critical or they feel kind of strenuous because you know the truth. What does it say? It sets you free. So you can literally go through the worry or go through the, the experience worry free for the most part. You can go through it worry free because you know something now. So just man, just allow the spirit man to clear some things up for you in your heart and in your mind. Everything is okay. I remember, I, I didn't want to go here, but I'm going to say this real quick. I remember um, when LaShondra and I was, were, uh, when we just started writing a book, um, this was some years ago, The Divine Flow, I was, I was writing uh, some notes for, for a particular chapter, and I felt like God showed me something, and it was really weird. And it was a playground. And I think I, I, I was like, you know, people always talk about, you know, uh, killing kids and, and just the, 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 just the, I don't know, just the horrendousness of, of that kind of a thing. And then I feel like I remember God was like, he showed me a playground and all these kids were on the playground. And he was like, do you think I would really hurt? Or no, no. Do you think you could really be hurt? Do you think these little kids can really be hurt? Yeah, you might experience something in the physical world, but that's not the truth. That's not reality. I'm reality. Do you really think that anything of mine I would destroy. No. And it, it was just so clear in the moment and it was so beautiful. So we have the ability to step inside of truth and it set us free from all of the anguish of the imagination of men and of manly circumstances. So that's all I got y'all. Pastor Jamal Rising Ground Church, um, the perfect storm. You are in the perfect storm. I'll talk to you. Peace.